Hey guys, I just come back from a shopping trip um, here uh, in Botswana, in uh, Jabarone. Anyway, I went to a basically a spa, which I believe is a German chain store, and they had a bunch of locks. This is the first that I'm going to be taking a look at. It. It's the Cobalt 50 millimeter, and it looks really nice. In fact, it's quite expensive here. Uh, this was about thirty dollars U.S., uh, but it's one of the few locks they had, so I figured, well, why not? And besides, it gave me some confidence because it, uh, it inspired the fact that it is good security. And when we flip to the back of the package, we can see what that means. Uh, three basic levels of security. Uh, basic meaning poor, good meaning I suppose average, and high meaning uh, barely adequate. So that's, that's the translation. The amazing thing about it though is that uh, if you look under features it says it's guaranteed for 25 years. I thought, wow, what an awesome guarantee. That's, that's a pretty good. And then when I look at the bottom very closely, it's made for a company called Mass Stores. I don't have, don't have any idea where that, that might be in the UK. I really don't know. It gives an address. Uh, I don't know where that address is. I don't know where Sandon is. I don't know if that's locally or if that's in the UK. You just have absolutely no clue. But really doesn't matter because it was made for them, but it was made for them in our favorite place, China. Tiny print at the bottom of the package. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and open this thing up without cutting a finger off. And before we waste time picking it, let's go ahead and make sure the keys work. We can get those out of there. Done with that package. See what the bidding looks like. There you go. Not too bad. Not too good, but uh, you don't know what you're getting until you open the package. Looks like a Yale style keyway. I don't know if it'll match a Yale key, but it has that typical tail at the top there. There we go. A little stiff. And it does work. And I'm looking at. Uh, the hasps uh, are the shackle and of course it's not ball bearing so let's see perhaps we could shim it and yes if you look at that machining on there I think when I opened it I saw a giraffe run out so pretty wide there we could probably shim this thing it probably only has a a locking pole on this side as do almost all Chinese locks they give you two notches but only one actually works so let's see if we can get this open. I, let's see if I can find a tension wrench the right size. Let's see if this one will work. That ought to work. All right, let's try that, and let's see if we can fit this standard hook in. I'm guessing here, having never opened this one, but all right, all the way to the back. A little bit of tension. Looks like two, three, four. It looks like six pins we're playing with here. See if we can get a feel for this lock's personality before we get too far along. Okay, I got one set. A little trouble getting in there. This might not have been the right choice for picks, but hey, you take what you got. stiff. I might have to shoot some lubricant up in there to give me half a chance here. It does feel like there might be security pins though, which is very surprising for Chinese lock. If we get it open, um, Go ahead and we'll try to rake it and try some other tricks. We'll try to zip it. Probably should have tried those things first because then maybe it would have loosened up these pins just a hair for me.
Uh, what do we got going here? Seems like pin 3 doesn't want to cooperate with me. Pretty stiff. And there we go. Alright, so you can SPP it. Um, I am going to take some of this special German lubricant made from kindergarten kindergartner's spit and uh, put it in there because it does feel pretty gritty. Just give us half a chance to loosen up those things just, just a hair. Well, let's try some other little tricks to get into these. We know it's made in China. Uh, they didn't even hide that, so let's just try a couple of tricks. And uh, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Let's just uh, let's just try to rock it first. We're going to stick it in there. Apply just a light tension and see if we can rock it open. And there we go, we're open. So, typical Chinese manufacturer. Let's do one more little trick. Let's just try to zip it open. All the way to the bottom, light tension, and just zip it, just like you're zipping open your coat. And it might not work on, a, on these Yales because it's got that little tail on there. Might have a little trouble getting up around that. Let's try another pick. Let's try something... Uh, a little lighter. This is a 15 thousandths and this may allow the pick to get in there to get access to those pins. And We'll just see if we can not zip it open like that. It might be zip resistant, fellas. Oops. Let's try it in slow motion to see if something happens. No, nope, it's not going to let us go in there with a zip. Okay, well, it is zip resistant, but you can rock her open and you can SPP it. So $30? No, I wouldn't do it again. So stay away from the cobalt. Unfortunately, I have a couple more we need to open. Different sizes, different styles, but uh, there you go. From, direct from uh, Botswana or wherever these are made, supplied by China. Thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe. Stay legal.